live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the New York Yankees. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after now, this. Your 2022 New York Yankees. So just about set now, and now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The one two. Liner snagged it first. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. The wine of the pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. One down, base is empty. And that one pulled foul. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. That one back there. And that ball is out of here. Ryan Mountcastle with a shot to the opposite field. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. Part of the order coming through now. And with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Anthony Santander at the plate. The Next ball. offering misses. Three balls and a strike. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around the edges of the zone, and when he has to, fill up the strike zone with confidence that hitters can't touch it. Trey Mancini now. Cole, of course, the first overall pick by the Pirates in the 2011 draft out of UCLA and really blossomed as he moved from Pittsburgh to Houston in 2018. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now it's Austin Hayes. Next offering is way upstairs. He's one of the two pitchers to strike out 14 batters in three consecutive games. Pedro Martinez was the other to do it, but Garrett Cole, again, just a dominant pitcher that wants to finish what he starts. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. Back for more from the Bronx. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one. One and two. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left field. One up, one down. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy... Hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging ball too. Four. And ball four, and Judge takes his walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Here's Joey Gallo. Gonna count one and two. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then. If this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. The one-two. The punch out there. And now two gone. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate.
next offering is fouled back. Line drive caught. Back now in the Bronx. All set for the start of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore. Ramon Urias. Ball to strike. And he dodges that fastball. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning. Through a lot of pitches. The next pitch misses. Three and one. Righty delivers. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. Left hand hitter waits. Urias gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch has popped up. Counter for Leffa makes the catch. And there's one away. Kelvin Gutierrez digs in now. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And he deals. That one close, ruled a ball. And it's two and two. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Payoff pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Robinson Chirinos now up to hit. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So the batting order turns over. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a miss as he was late. Next offering upstairs. Cole, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. Yeah, the right hater deals. Got him. And that will end the inning. here in New York bottom of the second and now the veteran third baseman Josh Donaldson on the ground right side Odor throw to first and a quick out number one batting six the second baseman Laver Next pitch, not close, up high. And now the lefty. Out to short. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And the tying runs at second base with a double. All over that one right there. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Next offering is foul back. Runner leads away at second. Way inside, gets out of the way. This has always been the better side for Aaron Hicks. And a 2-2. Chases that one out of the zone. Two down. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. So the tying run at second. Yeah, there's the strike. Torres at second with two down. Next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs.
And now it's filled up. Man at second. Back up the middle and a base hit. Torres around third. Rohan not in time to run scores. It's 1-1. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. Nice swing to drive that pitch up the middle. Could have easily been out in front on the off speed and pulled off of it, but he was looking to use the big part of the field, and he executed his plan perfectly. Means throws over. And now, Kyle Higashioka. Next pitch, way upstairs. On the corner at the knees for a strike. Two two down. In the air, left field down the line, and there's a base hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So. He just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a ball popped up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is the inning. Back at Yankee Stadium, stepping in the long ball threat, Ryan Mountcastle. Next pitch off the play, and a count two and one. That's inside. Next offering is fouled back. 3-2 now. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's got a chance. Gives up the body and makes the catch. Well, that's a great effort just to get to that one and an even better one to take on the wall and hang on to the baseball for the out. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Trey Mancini, the next to hit for the Orioles. And one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that'll do it. As we go to the last of the third, Aaron Judge at the plate. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness at a strike zone to boot. That's critical, very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. And here it comes. Three. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Bounce to the right side. Gets it to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. 0 for 1 so far. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate, but he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. 
Next offering is foul back. And he chases that one. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back in the Bronx as we go to the top of the fourth. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. And the next pitch is way outside. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more closed. One thing hitters will do, it's not so much about the stance, but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher. And next for the Orioles, Ramon Urias. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Cole, a check to first, and he's back in there. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. That's ball three. Good eye right there. Three one is on the way. Swing and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. Rugnet Odor takes him deep. And the Orioles jump out in front. It's three one. So one out, nobody on. And now here is Kelvin Gutierrez. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Singy, four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow, and I'll give you a free suit in plenty of time to first play is made two out so i went into the game i happened to hit two when i walked into the store the next day and he looked at me and said you're trying to put me out of business aren't you and that was a <laughs> great great experience that i had as a rookie playing against the yankees playing in new york next one is off the plate two balls and a strike and a swing and a miss there so did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Gallo makes the catch, and that'll do it. in New York. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. The pitch. Popped up. Mountcastle under it. Makes the catch. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got okay. underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Here is the young phenom Glaber Torres doubled in his first A.B. The next offering misses, and that's ball two. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, with just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Aaron Hicks now. The switch hitter batting right. In the air, foul off first. Mountcastle makes the grab. Two down. Ball's just not carrying the first tonight. <laughs> now, you would actually say that to your teammate in the dugout? No, I'm not that cruel. But someone would say it to me, and I'm sure it's probably been said before.
Here's a 2-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. Torres, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The pitch. And now the count is even. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. And the pitch. So now one and two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Man at first with one gone. And into the box for Baltimore, Anthony Santander. Kicks and deals. Foul ball. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. Picks up strikeout number seven. Man at first. Here's the Oriole cleanup hitter, Trey Mancini. The pitch. Fought off foul. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Righty delivers. And ball four, two aboard. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that is that. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. The wind and the pitch. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Next offering misses, and it's two and two. And a pitch. Off the mark there. And a full count now. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Digging in, Anthony Rizzo. Next pitch misses inside. Two and one. Tying run at the plate. Stays alive. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Anthony Rizzo circles the bases, and we're level. It's 3-3. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Aaron Judge stepping in now for the Yankees. Next offering is down low, and it's 2-1.
can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Next offering upstairs. And strike two. Lifted in the air, out to left. Hayes should have this one. Balls it in, and there's one away. And now it's Joey Gallo. The wind of the pitch. And a good eye there. Swing and a line drive caught. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Next pitch is outside. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. And down on strikes. That ends the inning. bullpen for the Yankees Albert Abreu well, at this point of the ball game we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper and welcome back all set for the top of the sixth and the batter will be the shortstop Ramon Urias the 2-1 Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling at all. Next pitch downstairs. Three and two now. Base knock center field. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Kelvin Gutierrez, the next to hit for the Orioles. Urias over at first with one away. hit center field quick throw back in lead runner holds it second with one gone seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there that pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you gotta make them pay and now the catcher Robinson Chirinos squirts away a little bit but no advance from the runners two on one out fouled off again and it remains three and two. Chopper to second. Torres tosses to first. Yeah, they get the out. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Now it's going to be Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. That one pulled foul. Second and third, two down. Next offering way off the plate. Right-handed reliever. In the air to left center. Gallo flying after this one. Squeezes it. That is the inning. Jorge Lopez. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Josh Donaldson. And the righty deals. 
Right side, hard hit. Whips it to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. And now the young star. It's Glaber Torres. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's the second out. Now here's Aaron Hicks. The wide to kick the pitch. And that's down it away. The 2-1. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. 2-2 two -two now. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Top of inning number seven, and into the box for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. Slowly on the ground to short. Connor Falefa picks it up, slings it across, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. And next for the Orioles, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Two outs, base is empty. Trey Mancini, the next to hit for the Orioles. Two and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And he deals. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. On to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. And stepping in for the Yankees, Kyle Higashioka. That one missed. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Next offering is fouled back. 2-2 two -two now. And now the count filled up three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Santander makes the grab, and there's two away. Back to the top of the Yankee order, and up next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. He's already homered here in this one. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss, and the Yanks go quietly. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. The pitch. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Kicks and fires. And down on strikes he goes. One away. So up next, Ramon Urias. The one-two. And a swing and a miss. And that quickly, two away. Now at the plate, Rubnet Odor. One for three. Here it comes. On the ground. Donaldson collects. 
And the Orioles set down in order. Back in the Bronx, here comes Aaron Judge. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. The pitch. Misses off the play. Now two and two. Out to center. Mullins. Has this one sized up. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. Joey Gallo stepping in now for the Yankees. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. And a pitch. In the air. Right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. Joey Gallo blasts one out. And they grab the lead in the eighth. It's 4-3. One down. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. And the next pitch is way outside. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. That one misses in the dirt. And a base hit in the right. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. And he'll reach second with one away. Back-to-back -back base hits. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And now it's going to be Josh Donaldson. Fouled off. He was late. Next one misses, and the count's even at two. Just missed. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Got him looking. And there's two away. Glaber Torres up to hit. Here's a 1-1. And that's outside. Out to short. Throws across the diamond. And Glaber Torres retired. And that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning over. So here comes the big lefty Aroldis Chapman to the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. here at the ballpark leading off Kelvin Gutierrez Chapman now one run game and that one fouled off this one popped up foul ground first base side makes the grab one away well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And now the lefty. And now it's filled up. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Fly ball down the line. Feeling for the wall. Makes the catch and foul ground. Well, that one ended up a lot closer to home run than I thought off the bat. Clearly didn't get it all. But with that wind blowing out to right, almost pushed that one over the wall. They say it won. One and two now. Got him! And that's the ball game. 
Well, this turned out to be an exciting, very well-played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come out in the ninth, the crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy with a win like this. And the final score here, 4-3. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. attendance here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please